KLPE's touring shows seek to bring a variety of people together to discover the complexity of their differences, as well as the power of their unity as it relates to social justice and the hip-hop arts movement. We utilize our original productions, exhibitions, film screenings, workshops, and publications as a catalyst for youth and adult community building. The Kumbaling's Performance and Production Ensemble presents, promotes, and preserves positive hip-hop as a tool for reimagining and demonstrating a more just world. Man, I've been chasing success. I'm just like a bird. I stay in my nest. I am the goat. I know I'm the best. These niggas is mad. I know they stay pressed. They want to compete. I'm not impressed. How you want beef? And this is not a dress. These niggas are sad. I think they depressed. You want to be bold. Grow hair on your chest. Do all on my page. I know you obsessed. This word is so toxic. I think I'm oppressed. My heart and my lyrics is how I protest. I settle for more and never for less. You're not in my lane. You're not in my zone. I am a queen. I sit on the throne. I'm worried about money, so leave me alone. I don't want your feet to stop calling my phone. I'm about to check, I'm chasing a bag, I'm higher class, not trying to brag, you step up to me, you raise a red flag, I'm popping out, like in a bag, I need all the fame, I need all the clout, I need all the bread so I can pop out, my life is a movie, I call it Get Out, to all of my haters, your pockets and drought, Hey. Hey. Peace, y'all, it's your guy, Mr. Jezai, aka the dishwasher on the ones and twos. Been working with Kumba Links this summer. It's been a great privilege to uh, work with such talented and amazing youth. Um, we did a music production class remotely in light of the current situation, which is why I'm also masked up if you don't recognize me. <laughs> there you go. And um, yeah, I've been doing work with Kumba Links for many, many years. So it's awesome to be back in effect with them. And today we're interviewing our participants and I have the lovely Diamond is she gonna introduce herself before we share her music and dig a little more into the process of how we got into this project, okay? Peace, my name is Diamond Arnold. Um, my stage name is Deep Breezy, but I am in the midst of changing, changing it just due to my satisfactory. Um, it's undecided on what I'm gonna change it to, but stay tuned because it will be changed. Um, my school, I go to Lincoln Park High School. This is my last year, so I'm a senior now. My Instagram is I am dot I am together I am dot D B R E E Z Y. I say about 2017, my sophomore year, um, I first came to Google Leaves, and the experience for me was great overall. Like um, they really taught me a lot. I learned like the history of hip hop, the hip hop elements, and you know, it really, it was a great opportunity for me to learn. Actually, I was into poetry, but um, as I, my first day there, I was like, music production, let me try, you know, try something different, you know? And it's just been my thing ever since. Um, I would say a little hip hop, pop. I, I was like really inspired by my favorite artist, which was um, XXX and Um, I feel like I could take music really far. I've been doing a lot of music, including with KL. I think I can make it far if I just put my mind to it. It wasn't made for me to rap to, but in the future, um, I'm interested in you know producing beats that I could potentially spit to. Um, but yeah, 
as I said, his beat wasn't really, it was just, I was just playing around. It was like my first one. And I was like, you know, let's try something. Maybe I can get far with it. And, um, this COVID is really affected a lot because me, I'm more of a, a learner where I have to be like inside an actual, you know, classroom and not remotely because like I can't really ask what like I really want to because like, I gotta be in person. Like I need an in-person explanation. But um, I've been working with it. Um, I've been patience for it. And, you know, I'm just, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. There's nothing we can really do about it, so. I think it felt good because, you know, when I'm at home, I'm just working on it, so I can't really, like, listen to it on a loudspeaker because I want it to be good if anybody else don't hear it. So, um, I think I genuinely feel good about it by being my first beat, and, you know, I, I've never even worked with Soundtrap or anything else, so I feel pretty good about it.